What the fuck? I was like, damn, I could play and have breakfast at the same time. Bring me some pancakes, man. <laughs> La gente está muy loca. What the fuck? Sack Knoll is a man of many talents, songwriter, producer, and director. Originally a journalist, Sack Knoll found another medium to tell his stories through EDM music. Coming from the heart of Barcelona, he is familiar with the dance scene and is taking his Spanish flair international. It's a section, so. I didn't really choose uh, music or, or what I wanted to do in my life. I just felt that I had to do that, I had to do this, and there, there was a path that I was following without even knowing the direction I was taking, and I ended up being a, a DJ and a music producer. <laughs> to me, when you're a creator, you do different things and you don't really uh, have to focus on one because you pass from one thing to another thing like a natural like uh, if you like uh, writing it's very mm, related to writing music at the same time so I have no really travel it's, um, bouncing from one thing to another. actually I like it all day all night all day all night all day all night, all night. What the fuck? I, I wanted to tell a story, and that's something that you can go back and, and relate with this journalism thing. And the story is about one girl that's traveling to Barcelona, and instead of seeing the classical stuff that you're supposed to see when you maybe travel here with your parents, that's the monuments and the rich culture that we have, she goes sparring hard all the time. And that's the story, because uh, when I was born, I have a uh, very uh, full of tourist towns around me and all these towns they were based on party and every every time every summer I was seeing a lot of English people a lot of Dutch people French people going there to just party and that inspired me like uh, the song local people that I saw is all, all people coming together in Barcelona to just have fun it means that people is uh, very crazy and it kind of sums up the the sense of the song in one sentence and I think this is the key of um, uh, me being a, a journalist because it's a headliner. Yo paso de todo. Todo, todo, todo. Wow. And with Sean Paul, with Salvi, we got this uh, instrumental that uh, we didn't uh, know what to do with the, with the song. And we had uh, the opportunity to sit down with the management team and said, okay, what, what, what's the next step? What are we going to do with the song? And we said, okay, let's let's try to get Sean Paul and sing on it because it's the kind of flow that maybe he digs and we will love to have him perform the song. And we automatically send an email to his uh, management team and he responds back, I love the song, I'm gonna do it. When I saw him perform the first time, I thought, man, this guy has this thing in his veins, is in his DNA because whatever he does, what, whatever movement he does, he executes, is already a movement that it's m more than perfect for the song. And that's when I knew that we had the, the, the good uh, collaboration. The music video was also cool. He came here, he flew in Barcelona. We just shot the video in 24 hours. It was kind of crazy. But he was very cool and very chill with us and us with him. What I can tell you, Trumpet Challenge is, uh, as the name says, it's a challenge that consists you and your friends dancing the song Trumpets and challenging other teams to do the same and see which one is best. And normally you post that on Instagram or Facebook or, or whatever social media you're using and challenge other people to do. They started that in Philippines. I think it was in a, a TV show and then it got just viral over the Philippines and lots of people starting the, the trumpet challenge. And next thing I know, I was in Philippines <laughs> dancing with 1,000 Filipinos. <laughs> Life is crazy. Right now, probably is the, the, the craziest, but in, in a way that, that everything is happening 
because when I did Local People, it was mostly for fun. I didn't plan to do a Local People, a, a hit song. I just was doing it for fun. And, and it came in my life and it was thrown into the storm and I made gigs and I was flying around the world, but I didn't have a plan to follow up, nothing. I was just, and then after that, I, I, sat, I sat down with myself and I thought, what's, what's the next step? What do you do with your career and you, with your life? You want to continue doing that or you want to just quit and you know, go back to journalism or painting or writing or whatever you, you feel happy. And I was like, no, I'm, I'm going to continue and I'm going to make a plan three, four years and I'll make it happen. And it's happening exactly as I planned. Boyfriend? No problem. The last time I was in Philippines, I stayed there for three, four days because I had rehearsals for the show. And I had the chance to just visit around and, and go to the city center. And actually, Philippines has a lot of Spanish influence because it was a Spanish colony and they, they explained me that. And I love when I can just get away from my job and just do a little bit of research and maybe sit down in a remote terrace in, in the center of Philippines and starting speaking with people that they don't know who you are and just speak about politics or whatever. Well, sometimes I select the songs, sometimes they ask me to remix, and if I like the song, I'll do it. That's the case of the Red Full remix I did. They asked me if I wanted to do it, and I just heard the original song. I was like, man, that song deserves really a, a really hard remix and I can really go and, and, and do it because I feel it. When, when I play in Spain, I mean, as I told you before, there's differences be between countries and in Spain, they, they have this tradition that you start your set at 4 a.m. in the morning. I was like, damn, I could play and have breakfast at the same time. Bring me some pancakes, man. <laughs> Remember to subscribe for celebrity interviews at Dukascopy Stars. Click here for the newest trends in Dukascopy fashion. Click here for brand new hit music weekly. Got a question that needs to be answered? Try to do this 911.